The following video will demonstrate how the Enterprise Architect Schema Composer can be used to improve interoperability and provide a standards-based approach for creating data definitions. On screen we have modelled several classes including a passenger, visa, passport and itinerary. Imagine a scenario where the airline industry have developed a standard in Enterprise Architect to exchange passenger information. A new online travel agency has been formed and they wish to perform transactions in the most cost-effective manner. They will be able to save money by consuming the standard messages that the airline industry have created. Upon creating a new message, we can select from a variety of schema sets including SIM, NEME and UNC FACT. For this particular example, I shall create a generic schema set with the name Airline Industry Standard. XML namespaces are used for providing uniquely named elements and attributes in an XML document. The use of namespaces can help to remove ambiguity. Enter the namespace. We can save the model subset as a model artifact or alternatively, we can save the schema set via the file system. For this example, I'll use the file system. To use the Schema Composer, simply use drag and drop to select suitable classes. You will note that upon selecting an attribute with a dependency, Enterprise Architect will automatically add everything associated with that attribute. You will note that the Schema is built up on the right hand side simply by selecting attributes. So for example, with passport, all I'm interested in is the attributes of passport number, country of birth, and the passenger association. For visa, I'm interested in the visa type and the expiry date. And finally, I can drag itinerary on screen. When I've completed my selections and chosen the appropriate attributes, I can generate my XML schema. EA supports XSD, RDFS, JSON and a generic model subset. I shall now generate my XML schema and view it within Enterprise Architect using the Enterprise Architect document handler. You can see that we have information on screen for the itinerary, the passenger, the passport and the visa. In addition to being able to rapidly create an XML schema, it is also very easy to update an existing schema. For example, if we wanted to include the hotel name, we can quickly and easily update our XSD file and observe the results. I hope this video has shown you in a few short minutes how easy it is to use Enterprise Architect and the Schema Composer to generate XML schemas. Spark Systems invites expressions of interest from the standards development communities to have their profile created and included in the Schema Composer. Email support at sparksystems.com to submit your expression of interest.